just subscribe below and if you enjoy this and find it helpful, please leave a comment and give it a thumbs up. I'm Dan Jones and this is a story about a cat walking through the seasons. So take a moment to close your eyes as you listen to me tell this story. And this story is to help you fall asleep comfortably. So as you listen you can just drift comfortably off asleep. And you can relax at your own pace, your own speed. My voice will just be in the background while you drift off to sleep. So on a winter's morning, towards the end of winter, the cat was lying in front of a fire. It loved taking up its place on the floor, resting in front of the fire. It was a crackling log fire with the occasional pops and sparks and the cat would lie there watching the flickering flames dancing in the fireplace hearing the sound of the fire feeling that warmth from the fire As the cat lay there on the most comfortable rug you can imagine. And the cat would feel dozy and would drift off to sleep and drift into that state between sleep and wake. Just drifting and floating in a dozy kind of state. And then the cat decides to get up, stretches and arches its back, really stretches, and then relaxes, and steps out, shaking out any last bits of tension, as it walks round into the kitchen and around to the back door and passes through the cat flap and the cat decides to explore the surrounding area the cat lives in a house which is on the edge of some woodland and it walks through the snow paces through snow and every now and then the snow seems to be thicker than half the height of the cat. And the cat sinks into the snow. And is aware of the warmth that it got from the fire. And the contrast between that warmth and the coldness of the snow that's now on its fur. And there's a certain freshness to the air that the cat breathes in. As the cat takes breaths in, it notices the air going in through the nose and feels the coolness passing down its throat and into its lungs. There's a certain stillness to the air and there aren't many sounds around. And there's a crunchiness to the snow as the cat paces into the woods. And the cat walks through the woods towards a local stream. And when the cat reaches the stream, it notices that the stream seems to have frozen over. And the, the ice isn't very thick, but it's thick enough to hold the cat's weight. And so the cat 
very carefully, walks on the ice, and it can see the fish beneath the ice. And it pads and paws at the top of the ice, trying to catch the fish beneath the ice. But it slips and slides, its legs go all over the place. And it has to use its claws just to hold on, just to keep upright. So the cat goes back to walking along the edge of the stream in the snow. And it can hear the rustling leaves. See white, flowery snow falling from the trees as a slight breeze passes by. And the cat enjoys this winter weather enjoys walking along with everything being so white almost like the colour's been drained out of the world and yet there's a certain beauty to it and so the cat eventually finds a bridge that goes over the stream. And it's a, a stone and brick bridge in the shape of an arch. And the cat jumps up onto the arch, onto the wall of the bridge, and confidently paces across that wall and down the other side as it travels further and further and deeper into the woods and while the cat walks so the seasons begin to change and the snow begins to melt gently away and the ice on the stream begins to melt gently away and gradually the cat can hear the trickling of the stream firstly a very slight trickling as the ice just starts melting and the more the ice melts the faster the stream flows and the more trickling the cat can hear And the cat continues pacing along the edge of the stream, on the other side of the stream to where it started, heading deeper and deeper into the woods. And the cat notices little green buds starting to appear in the mud as the snow starts to clear. And those buds start to grow. And it's almost like the world around the cat is moving faster than the cat is. The cat's just taking a leisurely stroll. Just relaxing and plodding along. Enjoying a journey. Enjoying going out for a walk. And as the white disappears, as the snow all melts, the cat can notice the sounds of songbirds starting in the trees. Noticing colours of different flowers that are starting to appear as spring begins to set in. And as the cat walks through spring, the cat can notice the way that the 
water is evaporating from the ground, turning to a nice, beautiful mist, hovering low in the woodland with the warmth of the sun. The air is beginning to feel different when the cat breathes it in. It's warmer. And feels different. And the ground is different to walk on. It's starting to become harder. Although where the grass is growing up, it's really soft, like walking on a carpet. And as the cat continues pacing along this stream, going deeper and deeper into the woods, it notices baby deer in the distance taking their first steps. The cat can hear chirping baby birds in the trees. And the cat's aware it's a time of new life. And then as spring begins to move towards summer, the cat notices that there's an increase in birds and bees flying around. Notices there's an increase in butterflies. And a little butterfly comes and lands on the cat's nose its wings outstretched with distinctive beautiful colours and it feels so light on the cat's nose the cat just stops like a statue and holds still for a moment with its eyes crossed trying to look at the tip of its nose Almost like it's trying to look into the butterfly's eyes. And the cat and the butterfly hold still for a moment. And then the butterfly flutters its wings. And in a haphazard way takes off from the cat's nose and flies away to a flower. And there are flowers springing up everywhere of all colours, all shapes and sizes. And the cat begins to notice the different smells coming from the flowers, from roses, from lavender. The cat thinks to itself that it's almost like a song being played for the nose. And the leaves in the trees are getting larger. And the rustling when there's a breeze is louder. And the twinkling light dancing as it sparkles through those trees, squeezing through past all the leaves to reach the ground.
and so the cat continues walking with a sense of wonder, feeling a sense of peace and curiosity going deeper and deeper into the woods. As the temperature rises, as summer sets in, And now the stream is beginning to lower down as some of the water is evaporating away. And there are lily pads and there are fish and there are frogs going okay, ribbit, ribbit. And the cat continues its journey. And the cat finds another stone bridge. And rather than this stone bridge being covered in snow, it's covered in ivy. And the cat crosses the bridge and starts walking back down the other side. Continuing to enjoy the summer sun. Its fur getting warmer and warmer. Comfortably warmer in the sun. And now the cat notices it's a time of life, of new beginnings, there seems to be a peak of the amount of life there is around, the air is full of pollen, the air is full of Birds and bees and butterflies and dragonflies. The woodland is alive with life. And the cat walks along watching in awe at how much life there is as the seasons change. And as the cat continues its journey back towards its home, back along the other side of the stream, heading back down to where it came from, its mind begins to wander and drift to the journey that it's had and the journey it's still got ahead. Then after a little way walking along, the cat notices a single leaf fall from a tree. And it knows that autumn is coming. And then the cat notices how the leaves on the trees are changing from greens to yellows and browns and reds. And as the cat continues walking, so the woodland begins to quieten down. 
as different animals are going and hibernating. Animals are going to sleep. And the woodland sounds are quietening down. And the leaves are changing colour. Before falling on the ground. And the path that was harder is now crunchy with leaves. And some areas have deeper areas of leaves than others. And the deeper areas the cat flicks the leaves about with its feet. As it walks along the side of the stream. And some places it just crunches on the leaves. Making a crunching, cracking sound with each step it takes. It's a kind of comfortable, gentle sound to hear. It helps the cat relax as it walks along the side of the stream. And the cat can notice on its fur that the temperature is different. That the temperature is beginning to change. It's beginning to become a little bit colder again. And there are fewer animals around. Fewer bird sounds. Just the sounds of some robins in the trees. Still singing away. And as more and more leaves fall from the trees, so the forest floor, so the wood floor, becomes brighter as more sunlight can reach the ground. And there's a change in the rustling sounds as branches hit branches rather than leaves hitting leaves. And so the cat continues to walk along the edge of the stream. It can notice its home in the distance. As autumn begins to get colder and colder. And the cat enjoys the change in seasons. There's always something to enjoy about each different season. And while the cat walks, so it begins thinking about what it enjoyed in winter, what it enjoyed in spring, what it enjoyed in summer, and what it's enjoying now in autumn as the cat walks towards home. And then as the cat passes that first bridge on its journey home, it notices a tiny snowflake land on the tip of its nose. And because it's cold, that snowflake holds its shape. And the cat looks at the snowflake on the tip of its nose. Noticing the symmetry, being curious and having a sense of wonder at how the snowflakes form and look so beautiful. And the cat takes its paw and pads gently on its nose on the snowflake. wiping that snowflake away as it continues to walk along back to its home. And while it continues walking home, 
the cat thinks it's becoming a bit sleepy because of this journey that it's had. And it's aware that the weather's changing, the snow is increasing. The stream is starting to ice over again. And as the snow increases, so the cat's footsteps begin to make that cracking snow sound. And as the cat arrives home, it's got snow on its back, snow stuck to its fur. It pushes through the cat flap, pads its way through the kitchen. And as it walks through this warm house, so the snow melts and it leaves little pools of water behind it while it walks. And it walks back to that rug in the living room and it turns around and snuggles down in front of the fire. And the damp fur begins to dry under the warmth of the fire. And as the fur dries, so the cat begins to feel sleepy. And the cat begins to drift off comfortably asleep, twitching a little bit in its legs as it drifts off comfortably asleep. And while the cat drifts comfortably asleep, you can hear that relaxing, popping, crackling log fire in the background. Through its closed eyelids, it can notice the flickering, twinkling light from the fire. And feel that warmth. And the cat finds itself just drifting off gently in a dream. And the cat begins to dream about the day it's just had, about its journey through the seasons. It begins to dream about how it went out through the cat flap. It begins to dream about how it walked through the snow. How it went over the bridge. How it enjoyed springtime and enjoyed seeing baby animals. Enjoyed seeing the explosion of colour of the flowers enjoyed walking into summertime and having that warmth and having even more flowers and thick green trees and fresh clean air and enjoyed going over the other bridge and its journey back and enjoyed the transition into autumn and the cat drifts deeper and deeper asleep deeper and deeper relaxed asleep as it enjoyed the 
first fall of a leaf, followed by the other leaves falling and then walking through crackling leaves and kicking leaves around. And then that moment when the snowflake landed on its nose, when it was nearly home, and the onset of winter, and how something about the snow and winter made everything seem so quiet and so peaceful and so relaxing. And by the time it had thought about the whole journey, and thought about journeying home, and made its way into the cat flap, and thought about what it was like in those last few moments, coming over and sitting back down in front of the fire. The cat drifted comfortably asleep and just carried on dreaming and enjoying a good night's sleep.